Evening everyone, it is a chilly Tuesday night in Toronto and I'm just about to meet up with Rachel so that we can have a nice little excursion to one of our favorite places in the city. We haven't been in for a while and we're really excited to share it with you. and lattes. Let's go inside. Snakes and Lattes is a board game bar and restaurant. Yes, you heard that right. It's a place where you can turn up, play board games, and also enjoy a nice dining experience at the same time. Not only that, but having been established in 2010, they can claim to be the first ones with this concept in North America. Nick personally discovered this place within the first year of living in the city and has gone several times. While they started out in just the one location in Toronto, they now have three different locations around the city, all of which Nick has visited, and have also expanded into several parts of the US, including Chicago, Utah, and Arizona. So how exactly does it work? Well, you turn up, you get shown to your table, confirm that you intend to play some board games while ordering your drinks and or food, and off you go. $8 per person gets you unlimited playtime on all of the board games that they have available, the range of which is in the thousands. If you have games in mind and they're available, then off you go. But if you're a little stuck, then you can always ask one of the designated staff who will be happy to provide you with recommendations on games to play, as well as guidance if you're unsure as to how to play. Equally, if you end up playing a game and you're interested in having a version of it at home, they do have a shop available both in the bar and online, which will help you source whatever one you may be looking for. Alongside the games, they do have a great selection of food available. The range is definitely more pub style with the emphasis on shareable food and handhelds such as burgers and sandwiches and the quality of what you order is always delicious. They are very accommodating of dietary restrictions and will do what they can to cater to them. So as the name implies then Snakes and Lattes isn't just about board games, it is also about their delicious coffees. I have got myself a Nutella latte. And I got a flat white with oat milk. The great thing about this place also is aside from having an extensive food menu, then they are also licensed to sell liquor. So therefore, if I would much rather trade my coffee for a pint. This is from a local craft brewery that actually won a sustainability award more than a couple of years ago. Cheers. These are the games I picked to start. But you can pick and choose how much or how little you want to do here. If you don't want to play board games and just want to catch up with someone, if you only want to play board games with no interest in food or drink, have a pint, have a coffee, the choice is yours.
Over the course of this evening, we switched through several classics, including Connect Four, Guess Who, Sorry, and Uno. What we like most about this place is not just that it's a great way to disconnect from the outside world for a little bit and do something else that's fun together. We really enjoy the relaxed nature of the place. It's very accommodating and inclusive, and the idea here seems to just center on bringing people together and having a great time. We just finished playing Pandemic, and it's probably my favorite discovery from Snakes and Lattes, and that's one of the greatest things about coming to a board game cafe like this, is that you don't just have your normal board games that you typically buy in a store or have at home. And it's definitely one of Nick's and my favorite games to play here. It's one where you play it like in conjunction with your teammates. And we're constantly learning about it because their rules are so complicated that we always forget what the rules are and have to refresh ourselves each time. But it's definitely one of our favorites and we come back to play again and again. We're pretty tired. It's a weekday and we have to get up for work tomorrow, so... Until the next time, take care. And keep smiling.